Good day all, and welcome to another bargain bin feature, if you want to call it that. Um, so these are more DVDs that I've uh, picked up from the bargain bin, $10 or less uh, in the past year. Uh, well, not the past year, I guess it's been maybe within the past six months or so. I've got a bunch of them uh, that I wanted to uh, make videos on, and as I get to them, I'll actually, well, do them. So, to start off from 2001... Requiem for a Dream, um, also starring Jared Leto, uh, which many of you will know from, well, his band, I don't, know, I don't think his band is really that huge, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars or whatever it is they're called, mainly from My So-Called Life, um, and of course Jennifer Conley, and Ellen uh, Burstyn, and my camera is being grumpy, and Marlon Wayans. This is sort of one of those, I, I would consider it a classic movie. It's, well, it's more than 10 years old, so not 12 years old now, from 2001. Very cerebral, kind of shows the experience of drug, addi drug addiction from the perspective of those that are actually addicted to drugs. Unbelievably depressing movie. Uh, but very well made, and uh, still up there is one of my favorites. Uh, this is uh, another one of those. I never actually had this on DVD. Um, I didn't pick it up until I got uh, this Blu-ray, uh, which I believe I got for five bucks. All these are were originally purchased brand new. Um, not a whole lot in terms of special features on this. It's kind of just a yeah a basic release, but yeah whatever. So another you know, I'm glad to add that to the collection. And the next one is one of the few steel books I actually own, *Inglorious Bastards*, which is well, obviously by uh, Quentin Tarantino's uh, collection of main movies. Uh, not quite factually correct to put it uh, mildly, but it's not really intended to be. I don't, know, I don't want to spoil the movie, so whatnot. But yeah, it's just. Uh, it's an enjoyable fictional World War II movie, as long as you can get past Brad Pitt's somewhat horrible accent. But, you know, other than that, yeah, it's enjoyable. This one was, I think it was, what was it, 9 or $10, somewhere around there. So not a bad price for a steelbook. Um, it's got, uh, you know, standard assortment of features. So this is a fully featured disc. And let's see if I can open this up here. And yeah, I kept the plastic on, but I might take that off, so... You know, sort of nice high-end steelbook casing. And there you go. And this is uh, one of those DVD-Blu-ray combos. So bear with me a sec, and I'll get these back in here. And the next one, another odd assortment, or another odd uh, addition to collection. To the collection, this one was also five bucks. Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, and Helen Mirren in red. Somewhat of an odd movie, but like I said, worth it for five bucks. And. Then the last one here that I got from the five dollar bill bin. I actually uh, I haven't I've missed a few of these uh, Final Destination movies, but I watched this one, um, and it actually wasn't that bad. Out of the sort of teen horror movie craze that came out of the late uh, 1990s, early 2000s, uh, Final Destination was one of the few franchises that I actually didn't mind. Um, you know, it's, in terms of horror factor, it was a lot better than a lot of the other films that were coming out at that time. Uh, so in here we've got two alternate endings, all that fun stuff. And so, there we go. So another assortment of bargain bin movies to add to the Blu-ray collection. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.